Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am really excited because I have the July BoxyCharm by Ipsy Box and the Ipsy Bag. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox all of this together. I am really excited. They also did send over a little surprise gift in another bag. So we're gonna go ahead and see everything that I got this month. So if that interests you, then be sure to keep on watching. Before we get started, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and click the bell notifications so that way you never miss any of my future uploads. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on in. I'm super excited to see what we all have this month. So the first thing we have up is the card. Of course, there is a theme. It is the Great Escape. So basically, this is supposed to be like a summer kind of vacation theme. Um, it says, pack your makeup bags because this month we've got a one-way ticket to dewy skin, glossy hair, and so much color, whether you're planning a summer vacation or a much needed mental escape. So I'm curious to see if any of the products are gonna kind of go with the theme. Um, so let's go ahead and get right on in. So I think I'm gonna start with the glam bag. So the bag this month is really cute. I love like the yellow and pink and it's kind of like a satin material. Um, so let's open her up and see what we got. Okay, first up we have this, okay, what's the brand? Trifle Cosmetics? This is a new to me brand, I've never heard of it, but this is their Jelly Juice Tinted Lip Glow. So that's how the packaging looks. The packaging is actually so cute. It's like pink and it has like little unicorns and ice cream cones on it. So I love that, I think that's adorable. So it says it's a yummy glowy lip treatment made with a myriad of plant-based oils, vitamin E, and shea butter to create an irresistible bouncy texture for your lips. And it says it has a high shine tinted formula that gives your lips a juicy wash of color and is infused with delicious cranberry and raspberry extracts to help create a healthy look with a pout perfect finish. Okay, look at how cute this packaging is, oh my gosh. Again, with the ice cream, and there's rainbows, there's cupcakes on this one. Adorable. So let's go ahead and see, did it say a shade name on here? Um, I don't know. I don't think there's a shade name. Oh, it's Twinkleberry, I think. Yeah. The shade is called Twinkleberry, so I'm just going to squeeze some onto the back of my hand so you guys can see. Oh, so it has like some shimmer in it. I did not expect that. That is how it looks. So it's like a sparkly kind of lip gloss. It's kind of like a hot pink or like fuchsia color. Um, ooh, and it smells good too. Definitely has like a fruity kind of scent to it. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out. Okay, next up we have this little eyeshadow palette. This is an eyeshadow quad from Lottie London. So here's how it looks. And this is the Rose Golds palette. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to show you guys. There you go. So it's kind of like a rosy, warm tone little palette. Um, I've never tried anything from Lottie London before, but honestly, I don't reach for like little quads like this. So I think I'm just gonna keep it in its packaging and put it in a giveaway. Next up, we have this concealer brush. This is from the brand SL Miss Glam. Now we have seen this brand in BoxyCharm and Ipsy a few times now. Um, I've gotten a few brushes from them previously and I think they're actually pretty good quality. I don't mind them at all. So this one is actually really cute and definitely fitting for summertime. It has like some orange slices on it. it, has some little gems here, and then the brush itself looks like that. So I feel like this would be a really good brush for getting, you know, right underneath the eye. And I actually have been meaning to get a brush like this because I don't own one. The only concealer brushes I have are like the flat ones, and I think this would probably work better than a flat one for like under the eye. Typically I use a sponge to blend out my concealer, but I feel like if I have a brush like this, I would be more tempted to use it instead of a sponge all the time. So yeah, I'm really excited to get that. Next up we have an eyeliner, and this is from the brand Shades by Shan, and this is the liquid pen eyeliner in the shade Black Onyx. So here's how it looks. I don't know if I've ever tried anything from this brand, but I actually need a new liquid liner because the ones that I do have are almost gone. And so I'm like, okay, I've been wanting to try a new one. So this kind of came at the perfect time. So let's see how this works. I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. So here's the tip. It definitely looks really precise. So that should be good. Oh yeah, that worked well. 
that was like very light to the touch and look at that precise line I feel like this is gonna be really, really good. So super excited to try that. And lastly in the bag, we have this primer from e.l.f. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, have we ever had drugstore brands and Ipsy before? Because I feel like it was always like high-end or like indie brands, but like, I've never seen e.l.f. before in an Ipsy bag. Um, and I know Lottie London as well is a drugstore brand. So now I have two drugstore products in my Ipsy bag. So I don't know if that's something new that they're doing, but honestly I don't mind because this is a full size primer from e.l.f. And this is the Power Grip Primer plus 4% Niacinamide. So I actually already own this primer and I do really like it. Um, I don't know if I need to have a backup of it because I have so many primers right now, like literally so many that I don't even know if I could get through them um, before they expire. So I don't think I'm gonna keep this just because I don't want it to expire before I get a chance to use it because I just got a new one like not too long ago. So I'm probably gonna put this in a giveaway as well. That way it gives someone else a chance to try it out because it is a really good primer. Okay, and that's everything for the Ipsy bag. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got as a little surprise gift this month. It comes in another little bag, exactly the same as the glam bag. And inside we have this uh, refreshments dazzling five blade razor kit and I got the color neon fizz so here is how the packaging looks so pretty and then you just open it up and we have a little razor kit in here so it comes with the handle and a little magnetic I think this is a magnet thing that you put on your shower so that the razor sticks to it and then it comes with two um, blades so yeah this is really cute and I'm gonna just take it out I want to see how it looks so it's like neon yellow on one side and purple on the other side so I'm pretty sure I could get use of this I do have a um, Venus razor that I love so I don't know if this would replace that, but maybe I'll give it a try and see if I like this one more. Um, although I don't know how hard it is to get replacement blades. I don't know if you have to order them online or something. So not really sure, but I will have to look into that. And then next we have a shaving cream to go with the razor. And this is the Refreshments Pillowy Shave Cream in Citrus Spritz. So beautiful packaging again. So I am really excited to try this out as well. I love trying out new shaving creams. So yeah, that was the little gift that Ipsy sent this month. So super exciting and thank you so much, Ipsy. All right, now let's get into the BoxyCharm box. By the way, they changed their packaging um, for the boxes and I just think it is so pretty. I love like the ombre. It's definitely more, you know, modern looking and just really aesthetically pleasing compared to their old packaging. So yeah, I really love it. And then on the inside, the box is like this really pretty pinkish purple color. So first up, let's see what we got. We have this Malin and Goats Vitamin E Face Moisturizer. So I have tried this brand before. Um, I think I got a lip balm from them in an Ipsy bag or BoxyCharm quite a while ago. I already used it up and I did like it. So I'm you know, interested to try this to see if this will be any good. Um, if I don't like it, I'll just give it to my husband um, because I have so much skincare. So it's really hard for me to like use up everything that I have, but I've heard that it's good and I know it retails for like over $50. So it's pretty expensive. Um, so it's a good value already for the box. But yeah, I'm not always excited to get skincare just because I have so much of it already. So I really prefer to get more makeup in my box. Um, and this month, I mean, it is mostly makeup, so that is good. There is one other skincare product in here and then three makeup products. Okay, let's see what we have next. We have this Lip to Cream Lip Kit from The Beauty Crop. So this is a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. And it's like a kind of a maroon shade. Not really a shade that I typically wear a lot of. Um, I already have a couple lipsticks in a shade similar to this and it's not something that I really reach for that often. So again, I feel like I will just keep this in the packaging and put it in a giveaway because I know that I won't really get used to it. But it is nice to see, you know, some lip products in the box because I do generally love getting lip products. It's just this color is just not really 
my vibe but had it been like a nude shade i definitely would have kept it but yeah i've never tried anything from the beauty crop so it kind of sucks because i would like to try it just to see if the formula is good but again it's just not the right color for me so i will pass that along or put it in a giveaway all right next we have this wing me clear brow gel now i've never heard of this brand before um but it says keep your brows in place with the wing me clear brow gel the brush on matte formula strokes eyebrows into shape and tames hair for natural looking definition that lasts all day so a brow gel is always something I can use so I'm definitely excited to get this and try a new one because I have gotten some really good brow gels in BoxyCharm before um, of brands that I've never like heard of or never tried before so I'm hoping that this one is gonna be good and look at the size of this this is huge I mean I feel like this brow gel is gonna last me forever so I like the packaging though. I think like it's very simple and just aesthetic. So I like that. And the wand on it as well looks pretty small if you can see it there. So I like definitely more of a small precise wand for the brow hairs. So I'm really excited to try that. Okay, next up, another skincare product. Now this is the last skincare product in the box, thank goodness. Um, and this is from the brand Earth Harbor and this is the Marina Biome Brightening Ampoule. If I'm saying that right it has spirulina and blue tansy in it and this is how it looks now I feel like this is my third or fourth product from Earth Arbor I feel like I get something from them at least every other month or every month sometimes lately anyways I mean I feel like my collection is getting so big from this brand I honestly I feel like I have at least three or four serums from them now so I don't know why BoxyCharm is putting them in so many boxes but I mean I feel like they're a good brand so I'm interested to try this so here's how it looks and it's just like a really pretty blue color so this is supposed to let's see what it says it says it's named for the treasured ocean blue botanicals she possesses spirulina and blue tansy she harbors concentrated adaptogenic oils that vigorously brighten and balance for an even radiant complexion and overachiever she works at a deep level optimizing skin's delicate microbiome to quickly and noticeably improve overall appearance of skin so it sounds really good but like so does every skincare product you know i mean i have so many it's not that exciting but i am interested to try more from this brand because i feel like i've only tried maybe one thing from them a lot of the other products i've gotten from them are just sitting in my skincare drawer because i'm trying to use up like older stuff but yeah i'll definitely give it a try and then the last product in the box is an eyeshadow palette and it's from siate london this is the brazilian glow it is a 24 pen eyeshadow palette so really big um and i know i just got a siate london palette from them a few months ago it's like the royal one um it's like a blue palette and I still have it but it's just kind of sitting I haven't used it I'm probably just putting it in a giveaway when I do one so yeah Seattle London is not like I do like some other products but I don't feel like their eyeshadow palettes really stand out to me so again this palette's probably gonna go in a giveaway or to somebody that could get better use a friend or family member perhaps um, because like I just I won't use it I have purchased a couple of new palettes recently um, and I'm really not looking to add anything to my collection that is not like something I know I'm gonna get a lot of use of or is not exciting to me so this palette yeah it's a pretty palette not gonna lie the shades are nice they are up my alley they are warm tones um, so definitely something that I gravitate towards but I just have so many palettes um, and I honestly need to do another declutter because I'm just not using most of them um, and I know that this palette would probably not get used um, that much so yeah it's pretty but I definitely want to pass it along to someone that could get better use because honestly the formulas they're okay but they're not my favorite formula and like I said I'm only trying to add palettes to my collection that I'm like in love with like palettes that I love the formula of and the color story just stuff like that so this palette unfortunately is gonna be a pass for me but I do like seeing you know eyeshadow palettes in the box because it is something that is exciting generally um, for makeup anyway but I'm just super picky with palettes so I guess for me it's not always that exciting but we have gotten some really good ones in BoxyCharm before so yeah, it's nice to see that I got, you know, three makeup products and only two skincare this month. I wish, honestly, I wish that we only got makeup because my skincare collection is just 
so big. I could literally survive the next five years on the skincare that I have right now. So yeah, but overall, I feel like this month was just okay. I feel like the only products I'm really excited for are this eyeliner, which I mean, eyeliner in general is not that exciting, but I actually am excited to try this. Um, I am excited to have this brush that I can use for concealer now because I've been meaning to get a brush similar to this, like I said. So I'm excited for those two products. Um, not really excited for the skincare, to be honest. Um, the brow gel, I am excited to try this out, actually. So I'm gonna give that a try soon. Um, but other than that, like nothing really speaks to me or is like super exciting. So I feel like this month is just an okay average kind of month. I'm hoping that next month, because I believe it is the Icon box next month, I'm really hoping that the Icon box is going to be really good. Like the last one, the last one we got was so good. Like I loved it. So really hoping that next month is going to be a better month. But yeah, that is everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link BoxyCharm down below and Ipsy for you guys if you're interested in signing up. It is $13 a month, I believe, for the Ipsy bag. And the BoxyCharm is $28, I believe. $28 or $29, some, somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.